The lesson that you're going to see today is part of a larger project that I do with third grade. So we work together to learn about the evolution of African American music over the course of many, many years. And the library project that I do focuses just on the jazz portion from the 50s to the 60s. And I start off the project with a See, Think, Wonder thinking routine and the kids get to go. They look at a picture um, by Leroy Neiman on the Smithsonian website where they can do a see and kind of figure out what they're seeing, who are the people, um, what are the colors that they're seeing, why is it that way. Um, so they write down a lot of really interesting things. Today we're going to look at this photo. I'm not going to tell you anything about it, but I want you to do the best that you can telling me what you see. Then we're going to do the think and then the wonder. So thinking is just what you think this is, what you think it's about, who you think these people are, and wonder is going to be any questions that you have for me for us to discuss later. So when I was in DC this past summer, I was able to go to the different museums and see all the different artifacts that I'm now using in my classroom. So it gave me really a better understanding of what I was looking at to help the kids better understand what they're looking at when they see it on, on the computer screen to understand, you know, this isn't just a little picture that you're looking at. In real life, this picture is bigger than the blackboard and it really helps them to understand and get kind of the depth of how important this picture may be and why, it, why it's there and why it's in the Smithsonian in the first place. All right, let's talk about what we saw. Let's talk about what we saw. What did you see, Joseph? I saw multiple people in the picture. Okay, Katie? I saw a lot of colors. A lot of colors. I saw Ella you saw Ella Fitzgerald. You could see her name. Yeah. Okay, Molly? I saw lots of names on there. Lots of names. I saw only two girls. Only two girls, okay. So lessons like this really changed how I teach because it's, I spend less time standing in the front of the room dictating to the kids and more time kind of letting the kids control what's going to happen next because a lot of times one student will ask a question and then another student will answer their question and then they kind of just go back and forth off each other and it's fun because each class takes a different direction because the kids in each class are kind of asking different questions and I get to see it from three different perspectives based on the class that I'm with. So it, it makes it makes it really fun. All right, so you've told me all the things you see. Tell me what you think about it, Joseph. I think um, they're not playing the same song. You don't think they're playing the same song. Why would you say that? Because they're all different people from different bands. All different people from different bands, OK. Um, I think that the colors are there to show that they, it doesn't matter. What does it matter? It doesn't matter what your skin is. Okay, it doesn't matter what your skin color is. Maybe that's, why it's Maybe that's why it's colorful, okay. They might be playing to an audience. Does it look like they're all looking at an audience in one place? Maybe not. All famous musicians. How would you know they're famous musicians? So let's talk about the wonders. What questions did you have? So we've got, I wonder if they're practicing. Does it look like they're practicing maybe? Maybe. It could be practiced. They're dressed pretty nice for practice though, right? Yeah. Bella, what do you think? Anybody have an answer for that? Why do we think there's only two girls? Owen? Um, because um, when you let women play, they don't have to do the same. Okay. So women didn't have the same kind of rights, right? Like just generally, oh, women weren't normally allowed to do the same things. Women weren't normally allowed to do the same things, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that it really helps the classroom discussion because the kids can go through on their own in the Smithsonian as well on the website and see you know, different things and they can listen to music and that's the kind of stuff that they want to really get their hands into. Um, so I think it gives them more ownership and in the end it really helps them remember what they're learning because it's more fun for them than just sitting and listening to me talk.